Hey guys, this is Adrian, and in this story, we're gonna go over how we can replicate one object from one schema and replicate it to another so we can use it as a staging table or staging object, let's say. So, in this story, we're gonna use the DB Visualizer Pro. If you don't have it, uh, you can use the free version, but it won't allow you to open as many windows and some they have some functionalities there that will you will miss. Anyway, so let's start with uh, with this uh, tutorial. So the basic syntax for replicating an object that for replicating an existing object to a new schema and using the same definition, it's uh, let's take a table for example, create create table and then um, the staging schema location in our case let's call it staging staging schema dot table like the source schema dot table including projections all right, I hope there's no project projections. Projections. All right, so this is going to be our scale that we're going to use. So the point of this making um, most of the time we use this uh, scripting to replicate objects from one schema to another and mainly to replicate entire schemas or a bunch of tables or uh, I don't do I don't want to script just for one table I normally when it's one table I do it by hand so for this we're gonna create a script using DB visualizer and variables we're just gonna tell him okay move all the tables from this schema into this schema exactly all right so let's go let's see how we can do it as a base skillet we're gonna use the query be the query here and also the data is gonna be extracted from the tables internal tables table so there you go this is this is vertiga internal table and we'll have all information here um, all, all the tables that we all the data like table name and table schema so let's create now the dynamic script so to start with we're gonna do select and we're gonna we're gonna use strings and strings variables and concatenated columns so first we're gonna say create table close this close the string use the concatenation open string use the dollar sign because this is gonna invoke the variable schema target schema target close the dollar close the the bracket new concat now we gotta give it a dot so because it's gonna be between between the the schema and the table is here concatenation again now we're gonna put the table name this is gonna be a field that's gonna be extracted from the tables then uh, string like close the another concatenation open bracket dollar sign and schema source this is going to be the source schema close bracket add another dot followed by uh, concatenation and table name again this is the table name as stated here we want them to have the same table name or you if you want a different table name you can add something here as a string as a termination that's that's your choice then another string including including come on man projections close line and now we're gonna finish our SQL from 
tables where table schema schema equals with source schema all right so this is the final script now we're gonna show it how it's done if you guys watch my, my watch my other tutorial where I show you how you can use uh, variables in DV visualizer you would understand what's what's gonna happen next so when we're gonna run this oh there you go we're gonna be we're gonna get a, a pop-up box that's gonna tell us okay give me the values for source target and uh, for source schema and uh, schema source so uh, for schema target and schema source so in this case we're gonna say okay we want to as, as our target we want the we, we want the the schema to be uh staging now as our as our schema source we're gonna use the schema source uh, tbd i have this is this is one schema i have in my uh, my database now continue and look what happens guys I'm getting a bunch of ready to ready to execute scripts here I can select copy and pretty much paste and the job is done I'm not gonna do that now next thing what I'm gonna show you guys is what you're gonna do with the scripts so what I normally do what I normally do every time I run a script, every time I create a script, I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna use it for, I'm gonna use it later. So here I, I have my, how to say, all my folders with all my scripts. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use a SQL generate as my folder, and I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna say replicate tables. Ah, there you go copy uh, paste it in select the connection in this case save it and that's it boys next thing what you want to do when you want to use for it when you want to really look for it if you have a bunch of scripts like me maybe I have a couple of hundreds here what you're gonna do is gonna be replicate and he's gonna he's gonna already filter that for you select it he's gonna open it run it and that's it I hope you guys enjoy it if you like the videos like if you want to see more subscribe